As part of our investigation into cell membranes, which we've learned are selectively permeable, we are going to take a look at what exactly that means. And we're going to model that using something I like to call a starch sausage. So what I've done here to set this up is I've taken this dialysis tubing, which is just like, almost like saran wrap, a little bit thicker. Dialysis tubing is useful because it, like a cell membrane, is selectively permeable, which means it lets some things in but not others, or lets some things out of the cell or out of the tubing but not others. What I've done is I have made a little starch sausage, okay? Um, so, and I've also set up this beaker of iodine solution. What I've done is I've just taken some iodine and I've added some distilled water. In my starch sausage, I sealed off both ends. You can kind of probably see the elastic there. Then I took my starch solution and filled up the, uh, the dialysis tubing and then sealed off the other end with more elastic bands. So we have here our initial setup for our starch sausage. Okay, so we have the starch sausage itself. Um, I think you guys can see that it is white. It is opaque, which means we can't see through it. We also have our iodine solution which I think you guys can see is like this yellowy, orangey, brownish kind of thing. And it is transparent, which means we can see through it, right? If I put our little mole behind it, you can see that he's standing behind it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put our starch sausage into the iodine solution. We're going to let that sit for a little while, and then you guys are going to observe what change occurs okay before we do that I need you to know one thing some of you guys might know this some of you might not when starch just putting a few drops of that into the spot plate is mixed with iodine a chemical reaction happens so the starch which you can see either in the spot plate or in the sausage is normally this white cloudy mixture iodine normally this yellow brownish mixture when I put them together, oh yeah, that turns up nicely. You guys can see we get this like deep black. It's like a deep blue black, okay? That indicates, um, we use iodine rather, I guess I should say, that to indicate the presence of starch. So if we see something black, we can see that the iodine and the starch have mixed. Very important. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to drop our starch sausage into uh, our iodine bath, let's call it, and let's watch what happens.